I was talking to somebody a couple years ago about she needed an MRI. And I said, hey, well, why don't you go to Smart Choice MRI? I started talking to her about it and on, hey, you know, you can do an MRI for 600 bucks versus $3,000 and blah, 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 this and that. Well, she relayed back that, that yeah, she went and got an MRI and she, she drove up, uh, um, I think, into the Milwaukee area and got her MRI from, from uh, she was from Portage. And she was talking to some of her friends, said, yeah, I went down to Milwaukee to get MRI and this is, why didn't you just, you know, go to Portage and pay your copay and, and, and be done with it? And that's part of the problem is if all the person has to pay, worry about is that simple little copay, they're going to choose what's most convenient for them. They're not going to drive someplace else because not everybody's going to see the bigger picture that, hey, everybody has to be in this together in order for us to lower our overall premiums. So one thing you have to do is make sure that you're instilling consumerism with your members in some form or fashion, and that goes to what we had talked about, you know, tiering or, or other methods. And if some of you think that, oh, well, you know, we're, we're doing plenty of steerage by our deductibles and co-pays and co-insurance, have you actually done the math on some of this stuff? So look at a, 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 a traditional plan, a $1,500 deductible and a 10% co-pay after that, okay? And now apply the math to that. If I'm doing a $600 MRI, okay, that means I'm going to pay $600 because it's, you know, that's my deductible. Now, now uh, uh, if it's a $3,000 MRI, you're going to pay about $1,650 on that traditional plan. So yeah, I got steerage. I, I got $1,000 I'm going to save by going to that. That makes sense for that, that level of service. Apply that to the higher end, a joint replacement. $52,000 uh, joint replacement versus about a $27,000 joint replacement. We'll throw out round numbers. I'm betting that most, if not all of your plans, unless you've got some specific language in that, you will hit your max out of pocket, all members, regardless of the plan design. Now, I know in our, our plans, if you don't have uh, other incentives, they will hit their max out of pocket. So I'm going to hit $3,500 regardless if I go to this one at $27,000 dollars or this one at $52,000. So you have to figure out another layer of an incentive to make sure that that person makes, makes a better decision. So you have to pass some of that savings on. And the math can be pretty simple. You can say, you know what, you go and use this uh, provider, we're going to wipe out all co-pays, deductibles, and co-insurance. You have no out-of-pocket costs for that knee replacement. And you say, well, okay, well, that's going to cost an extra $3,500. Yep, it's going to cost you an extra $3,500 to save over $20,000 makes it for fairly simple math. And when we introduced, first introduced this idea a couple years ago, somebody said, well, you know, if we do that, we're, we're gonna end up with a lot more joint replacements. I don't think anybody's getting recreational joint replacements. <laughs> That's not on my bucket list. I'm gonna go get a knee done today. 